हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू टू द टॉपिक सीएसएस कर्सर कंट्रोल प्रॉपर्टीज सो इन सीएसएस दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर 32 एंड इन 31st लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ यूजिंग कर्सर कंट्रोल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड आल्सो वी हैव यूज्ड सो मेनी डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दिस वी हैव आल्सो डिस्कस्ड इट प्रैक्टिकली एज यू कैन सी हियर Okay, if you forgot to watch the previous lecture, you can check the description box. I have added the link there. So here, students, you can see we have used cursor zoom in, zoom out, alias, all scroll and call resize. That is used to increase or decrease the size of your column. All these properties we have used practically as well. Correct. So this is the output. So for this zoom in, you can see the cursor now. For zoom out, you can see the cursor. General general cursor is this arrow. जो है वो general cursor होता है किसी भी mouse का. But we have used CSS properties like this. Okay, so this is align statement. This is scroll statement, and this is for call resize statement. Correct. So now let's cover all the remaining types. Right. So for this, we have used till call resize. Now next point we have is cell property. So the cursor will represent that a cell or the collection of cell is selected. So for this, let me just copy the statement so that it will be easier to all of you. Okay. So copy this and. paste statement as it is correct so after this call what you need to do is you need to add the cell property correct so for cell property what you can use here is before cell let's just try cross here property so cross here in it the cursor changes to the cross here or the plus sign okay so for cross here you need to write it as cross here only Save this and refresh. So this is column resize. This is cross here. We have discussed here now. The it is cursor property that is used to add the cross here or plus sign. Next we have next we have default property. Okay, here we have default property. It indicates an arrow, which is the default cursor. Okay, so there is no need to use default practically. Next, we can use copy. It is used to indicate that something is copied from here. This is cross here. This is copy. Okay, so for this, what you need to write? Just write copy here, and. refresh okay so this is copy statement so whenever you see a plus symbol a small plus symbol with your basic cursor that means it is the symbol of that something is copied from here okay next you need to add here is printer pointer sorry okay all these statements we will cover correct so there is no need to check the definitions i will tell you everything practically so after this i would like to add pointer statement for this just write pointers see refresh and you can see pointer right next we have move property this is move statement so for this just write simple move save and refresh so move and scroll all these two are same you can see the symbol here you can see the cursor symbol here this is scroll symbol and this is move symbol okay both are same next let me just copy this okay okay so after move you can use e resize e resize okay so for e resize under the cursor section what you need to do is just write cursor e dash resize save and refresh so this is e you can see okay if you want 
to increase or decrease the size of the element then this symbol will definitely help you next we have is e w resize okay this is e sorry you can write it as e w resize okay e w resize save this and refresh so e w resize okay both are same we have already discussed its definition e resize E resize means it represents the east direction and indicates that the edge of the box is to be shifted towards right. And E W stands for it represents the east west direction and indicates a bi directional resize cursor. Okay, so cursor जो हैं दोनों के वो same हैं but इनकी working बहुत ही ज़्यादा अलग है. Correct. Next we have N E resize. N E dash Resize. Okay. So let me just write it over here. Resize. Save and refresh. So you can see N E resize. What does it mean? N E resize represents the northeast direction. And indicates that the edge of box is to be shifted towards up and right. So you can see it is shifted to up and to the right side. Okay. Similarly, we have n resize. Let's just try this. We have n resize. Okay. Save. This is how you can use n resize properly. Also, we have. Let's try something new that is not allowed. Okay, so we have not allowed property. Save. This is not allowed property. So you can see its symbol. Okay, so I hope students everything is clear to you. This is how you can create so many. You can create so many cursors in your web page. Let's just try two more. That is help. Help is very important and commonly used type. H E L P. Save. So this is help. Okay. So with your uh, basic cursor, you can see. A small question mark symbol over here. Okay, so this symbol is used for help statement. And last, last I would like to add is progress. This is what this is. So you can see it like this. Okay, so this is help statement. This is under progress statement. So I hope students, everything is clear to you. So we have used so many, so many cursor styles practically. We have also we have uh, we have no drop. We have s size. We have none. We have move. Everything we have. You, if you want to try, you can use any of the any of the property over here. Correct. If you want to give your property some all these properties some different styles, some background image, some mouse hover or anything, you can add any property under the style tag. Okay. So I hope everything is clear till now. So thanks for watching the session.